Hello colleagues, uh, this is Mr. Danyana again, an instructional designer at PCC. On this video, I just want to show you a Blackboard Collaborate, which is one of the latest tools that we have as the unit. Uh, the Blackboard Collaborate is a simple, convenient, and reliable online collaborative learning solution. So this fully redesigned solution delivers a level of engagement that makes learners feel like they are together in the same room via collaboration and conference tools. So this is a tool that you can use as a lecturer when you want to conduct a virtual live classroom. So to create a session, you open the course on WiseUp, and then the second step is to scroll down here on the navigation menu. You scroll down up to here to course management, and then you look for course tools and click on course tools. After you have clicked on course tools, this menu will appear and then you will click on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. So after clicking on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, you will go straight to the Ultra page. And then uh, you will see sessions and then there is this button Create Session. So to start creating a session, you click here on Create Session. After you have clicked on Create Session, you type the session name on this text box. Okay, let's say our session will be about uh, induction presentation, okay? And then, after you have typed the induction name, let's focus here on guest access. So you can invite a guest, either as a participant, as someone who will just uh, attend your session, or you can invite a guest as a presenter, meaning that you can have someone who can present in your session even if that person uh, is uh, not uh, a colleague at WSU. You can just give them, share with them a link. Or you can invite them as a moderator. With the moderator role, they have got access to everything. And then the link is automatically created here, yeah. so you can just click copy to share the link and send it uh, to the person whom you want to invite as a guest on this session. Okay, and then coming here on the event date details, you've got the start date. The start date, by default, it's going to choose the current date, so you have to select a different date let's say you want to have this session on Tuesday and then uh, at what time on Tuesday you select time on this uh, box so you click you want to have it at 10 a.m. you want to have this session at 10 a.m. okay I'm done and then the end uh, time or the end date is the same date 11 12 let's just say maybe 11 12 a.m so the session is gonna take an hour 12 minutes if uh, we want to repeat this session we want to have uh, this session maybe every tuesday we'll click here on repeat session so we're gonna have this session either Let's click on the drop down arrow and see either daily, weekly, or monthly. If we're going to have this session weekly, you will click repeat weekly. And then uh, every week on Tuesday, the session will open. 
as you can see the Tuesday is highlighted blue and then you want the session to end after how many occurrences or after how many weeks if you want the session to automatically end after five weeks just type five and then this session uh, will be available for five weeks and then under the early entry option let's click on the drop down arrow it's either you select no early entry and that one is not recommended and then there is 15 minutes before start time 30 minutes before start start time 45 minutes so you select the the, the early entry here so that uh, your students can enter the session uh, 15 minutes maybe before you actually start your session so it's advisable to select 15 or 30 minutes so that they can uh, test in the meantime if they are able to uh, to connect and enter into the session and then moving down here is session settings under session settings you have got the default attendee role so the default attendee role is participant your students will be participants but if you want to change that role and maybe you want them to present you can change it to presenter role or if you want to give them full rights you can change it to moderator but that one is not advisable when uh, the students must always be a participant unless they are going to present if they are going to present then you can select presenter role and then recording you can allow them to record to download uh, the recordings if uh, you are going to record the sessions because the other thing that is nice about this tool is that you as an instructor you can be able to uh, record a session and then the students can download uh, those recordings and then moderator permissions show profile pictures for moderator only okay if you want to show profile picture for the moderator only you can ch check check on that checkbox and then moving on to participants participants can share audio yes that one is fine if they want to ask questions that one must be on must be active if they want to share a video it must be active host chat messages and also that one must be active draw on a whiteboard and files so if that one is not active they won't be able to write anything on the whiteboard so when you are done you click on save and then there is your session it's created so if you want to share it uh, if you want to share it you can click on those three dots and then click copy guest link and then this link you can then open your group wise and then uh, paste it there send it to anyone that you want to invite for the session yes that's all thank you ladies and gentlemen